Hi, and welcome back to Disco Elysium in what is supposed to be the last episode this time, finally, after we had the last dream last episode. I think that's the dream uh, they were talking about because they said we had to go to the church. So I think the Dolores Day being my ex-wife uh, thing is from that. A firing slit you can't see inside. Okay, let's look around on this island. We are searching for fuel. Must have been a direct hit to take out such a big chunk. The distant sound of cargo ships signal horns echo over the water. The winch is broken. Rust has eaten what remains of the chain. The depot has supplied this chain is long gone from the coast. Strange feeling looking at the water. Maybe you should just wander off into the sea, leave it all and walk in. Why? Because there's someone there under the water waiting for you. Where it has always been. Smelling of tutti fruit and betrayal. Baby, you know it's going to hurt. But it's cold. Yes, cold and still, but love is warm like the inside of her mouth. Yes, please. Oh, fuck yes. Go in there with your head. It's been days since you've thought about her. A week. No, we're not starting with that. Not now. Not this time. This thought is over. Raise your side. It's in the still mirror of the bay, you see Martinez reflect the tall edifices of ruins reach into the water like shimmering towers and the shacks too. Pine trees and motor lorries upside down, islets and posts like stepping stones lead into the water in front of you. Go, step in. It's been so lo too long. Shake your head. You can't go in. Okay, this is, this is uh, hinting at the dream. The pain in your pelvis makes you wince, then you continue. The inside of the fortress, you make out the console and the blast door. Okay, this is the, the only way left to go, and then we have a canister over here. A weathered artillery map showing coordinates in the Bay of Revachol. An old medicine cabinet newly stocked with duramine. Yeah, we take the duramine and the money. Why are we taking money? Not that we would need it anymore. We have the Lum Fuel Canister, LUM Fuel Canister. It's under items. There it is. There's still some fuel in this better canister, a litter or two. The metal looks decadent, so the logo of the automotive manufacturer LUM has faded on the side. What's that? There's a rain soaked mattress in a concrete slab, only half covered by the comet roof. At the head of it, double embrasures, firing slits like two eyes in the wall. B double prime. This looks like a good place to shoot from. Inspect the mattress. A single person mattress, modern civilian use, brand name Marjorie. There's a few stain on the cover, along with cigarette burns. And an empty can of beans on the ground next to, to it. Filled to the brim with cigarette butts. Pick one out of the can. The silhouette of a tobacco picker adorns the purple filter, the brand Tiomutiri. Tiomutiri, like the ones we found at Lance End, remember? I may have been wrong when I said it was unimportant. This means the same person could have visited both locations. I didn't see any signs of, signs of smoking inside, though. If people live here, they keep it tidy. This here may also be a smoking spot. Inspect the wall. There's a firing slit in the wall in front of you, Take like a little window. Touch the concrete. Quite old and grimy from years without cleaning by anything other than the rain. Look through the hole. The springs screech as you lean on the mattress and crane your neck to look out. Trepidation. A tingling feeling in your stomach. A small piece of Martinez coastline opens up in the square in front of you like a tiny landscape painting one kilometer across the water. The ruins look familiar. On the left... A towering skyscraper, its top floors shaved off by artillery fire, Cape Side Apartments, Rue de saint gelain 33A and 33B on the right. A red chimney and collapsed back of a four-story tenement in front of Willing and Rex, Rue de saint gelain 10, the Doom Commercial Area. And between the two, the box-shaped silhouette of the Whirling and Rex, you see a small fleck of white on the rooftop, the upstairs window of Classy's room in the snow, reflecting light. Motherfucker. 
What does that mean? Do you have line of sight to the window? More than that. Kim, with a pair of binoculars, I would be able to see inside the room. A pair of binoculars or a scope of a rifle. You'd be prone, lying on the mattress, barrel resting on the embrasure, cheek against the cheek rest, hand on the air trigger, on a calm day like this. Kim, I could make it. I could make the shot. Good. I think we have it, detective. The origin of the shot. This is the sniper's nest. Affirmative. Booye, master cop work. It's only moderately effective cop work until we have the weapon. It will not be, how do you say it, booyah, until we have that. Could the shooter still be here? Where? On this island. He does not answer, just nods. With his back hunched, he looks around once more and says, We should move. Now. We have five points here. Wow. So I assume... I have no idea why he would... You feel eyes on your back. Someone's watching, but you can't say where. Um... I'm still not getting getting why he, this fireman, as he was called, would um, would do that. Why would he shoot the guy? I have only one other possibility remaining in my head, which is that I, as a killer, did shoot the guy. But that would be too much. I don't think they're they're going that way with this. Pour fuel into the tank. The tenant resists you from over there, holding the canister up to the fuel tank as you tilt. Dark brown vicious fl viscous fl fluid pours out and the room fills with chemical smell. There's a red starter switch on the side of the cylinder and a start rope on the other side. The lieutenant flicks the switch. Pull the rope. The recoil start makes the oil wakes the oil generator up. The machine sputters like an old war horse before settling down to a rattle. That should do it. If. Okay. Open the blast door then. There's one. Oh, I have to take that call. Wait a moment. Okay, back at it again. Go to the console and open that door. It's on. Light interior. Slide the radio dial. Not getting getting anything. Emergency open. The blast door opens with a series of clicks. A shaft of light appears, then winds as the light shines in. Yeah, it's very slow. Continue. After you, the lieutenant gestures at the opening. Before outside, when we were walking across the sand, I felt someone watching me. So did I. Not back there, but I felt it since we came here. What's there? I don't know. What if we get into another fight? Don't worry. He takes out his side arms, shakes the barrel, then holsters it again. I have a gun. I also have a gun. I know. It was not easy to acquire. We both have a, have a gun. Okay. Let's see. If we find our culprit out here. Wait. Walk slow. It might be dangerous. Okay. Not really a stuff to care about. Oh, what's going on with my damn... Hey! Goddamn TV screen! Oh. Great. 
my TV turned off and when I turned it on again it was on TV instead of computer and now I have no signal with my computer screen. Yes, okay. Small white flowers blossom all around you. See the white flowers here. A rubber dinghy, it's deflated, broken. He didn't take the rubber dinghy here, yeah? Nothing appears if I go closer. Okay. The air smells sweet and scary somehow. There is our culprit. We're doing the weird stuff now? Okay. Can walk around him. Okay. Who is he and why has he done this? An old man wearing a tracksuit trousers leans on the frame, frame stock of his rifle. He gathers a big ball of spit in his mouth, then spits it out into the extinguished fire before him. He raised his, raises his black eyes, hooded by seized eyelids to meet yours, unclouded by cataracts. His eyesight is sharp. He's practically tearing up from spite. From spite. Hatred got the best of him a long time ago. This man hates everything. Are you the fire guy? Oh, what now? I can't hear you. Did you recently tell two kids to put out their fire to twins? I may have. All sorts of little rats have come sniffing around trying to give up the position. Fire guy. Regressive bourgeoisie henchman. Can't even talk like a grown-up. You've retained your eyesight. My eyesight, yes. <clears throat> Helps me see all this shit. Did you close the blast door? I did. And you opened it. How? I fueled the generator, then used the console. I should have burned that console down. How did you know it was coming? Reactionary rock and roll music playing on the water. I didn't hear any of that. Oh no, is my music broken? It might have been that my music is broken. Games sometimes do that, that the music just doesn't play. Oh no. I, I do have a turn off. Okay. I can, if, if I get that to work, I can uh, cut that in in that episode. Okay. Told you we shouldn't play sad FM. So I'm going back to this and seeing if I can uh, activate the music. Wait a second. Okay, now the music is working again, so it was bugged. Great, so I have to record, I think, the dream. I will start to rec st uh, try to record the dream and the... Oh my god, is the big show-off without music too? I can't record all of that again, I can't. That's too much, I don't have the time for that. So you'll have to live with it without music. Like the going over the water thing and the uh, and the big showdown and all of that was, was without music where there should have been music. Great, great, because a shitty game bugged out. I had to reset the settings for it to recognize the, the music thing again. Uh -huh. I have to replay my whole session again. My whole today session of four hours. I'm not doing that. Uh, maybe I'm doing that. I'll then put that stuff in. Did you close the blast door? I did. And you opened it. How? I fueled the generator, then used the console. I should have burned ah, okay, reactionary we were rock and roll music playing on the water. I told you we shouldn't play sad FM. It was not reactionary, it was cool. The fascists were right about rock and roll. It is degenerate. Hip gyrating mental illness music. Nice gun you it's got there. It's not nice, it's a piece of shit. Gets the job done. Is that a bear, McGrath? It's a Trigon 446. A Samaran rifle? How did you get hold of one? It was sent to us by our brothers in the Xinyao commune. Military aid. 
It's, it has stayed true to him. He can still make it sing. The hissing Yaokumu? You heard me. It's good now. Like chalk wiped from a board. Your weapon has stayed true to you, mine has stayed true to me too. Yes, I bet you killed a lot of people with it, you fascist fuck. Have you come to make me one of them? We have come to ask you questions, nothing more. If you do not comply, we will take you in. Do you understand? <laughs> so I need you to put down that gun so we can talk further. We are with the police. Lieutenant pulls his pistol from the holster. You're a glorified night watchman. This is a service rifle. I can only lay it down before an enemy commander of corresponding rank. I am an enemy commander of rank. Put it down. The words, I am an enemy commander, sounds cold as iron from your lungs. The old man still hugs and his gun. And what rank would that be? Lieutenant Dog. Double Gifreteur. The big wheel of the 4th Regiment of the Pederast Army. To hell with it. It's a walking stick anyway. It's out of bullets. The old man lays the rifle down carelessly, then stares at it, just lying there, like an amputated limp in the sand. He stares on, his wrinkled mouth moving without a sound, a strange sadness like a song. What did you say? The future teaches you to be alone. The present. The present to be afraid and cold. Those words. Real music, real prolet cult. That's La Revacholière, not your rock and roll misanthropy. Chanson de Soldat of the Black and Whites. You need to address that remark. I'm not a misanthrope. I'm a half-dead police officer who's just doing his job. The job of a shitlicker. What is La Revacholière? The anthem of the world revolution, one of three. In Grad they sang brave children, favorites of history, and in his and Yao it was some Samaritan shit, I guess. How does it go, the song? How did it go? Something about shooting rabbits, I don't know, I can't remember, it doesn't matter, it's gone now. I pick up his gun. His gaze follows your motions, the rifle feels surprisingly light in your hand, frame stocked and patched in places with tapes and wire, still warm from his parched hands, not the metal, the metal is ice cold. This weapon has been modified several times. Inspect it closer. The rifle is in a shabby state, like a crutch that has seen too much travel. Hier hier hieroglyphs are embossed on the into the forearm make of walnut. On the butt you see West Battalion writing, burnt into the wood, triangle 4.46 mm made in his Yao. It's as it said, it's a triangle made in his Nyao. No one said it had to be a Burma graph, we're just guessing. From ballistics, it could easily have been a triangle too. It doesn't matter if it was making shanti shanti, all it has to do is use jacketed ammunition and it does. 4.46. Yes, the right type and the right caliber. The rifle has been patched and modified several times. I wonder how old it is. The old man does not answer. Store the gun. The old man keeps following your motions with a gaze. His left arm twitches suddenly. This looks very much like the murder weapon. It can be used against him to get a confession in time. Who are you? My name is Josef Lilianovich Dross, political commissar of the 114th Anti-Aircraft Division of the 4th Army of the Commune of Ravishal. I am a deserter, a partisan and a prisoner of war. This is my termless surrender. His eyes turn to the reeds again, deal dead and dull. The commune of Revachol. You mean the ICM? You are a holder from the Insulinian Citizens Militia, the army of the revolution. I was recruited in Jamrock in 07, trained in the Ecole de Contrôle Aérienne and consigned to emergency defense duties in 08. I left my unit on the eve of the landing. When I returned here on May 14th, the commune had fallen. Still armed and ideologically trained, I wrote a criticism of myself and resumed partisan duties. You've been on this island for 43 years? No, I've been on other islands too. 
I was on resurrection until they returned it to uh, turned it to a spy in eighteen. Then I was on E forty eight, a nameless sound, until the sea washed it over. Then I came back here. That was twenty two years ago. Again, you've been hiding here for forty three years and ten months. That's steadfast. That it's not how a human being should live, but I had to. I just I couldn't just forget. I couldn't just forget what I saw. He just couldn't. He just couldn't give up. He nods. But he can now. What have you been doing during all this time? Hiding, fishing, waiting. Two police officers step out of Rolling and Rex cafeteria. Said light officer Jean Vakemir inspects a series of burnt black letters splashed across the plaza mosaic. The fishing village. We meet in 50 minutes. It's a 10 minute walk. The officers go, leaving behind the writing, still smoldering. One day I will return to your side. Always waiting. For what? For her to return. Her who? Girl shite revolution. I'm afraid she's gone. The material base for an uprising has eroded. The working class has betrayed mankind and themselves. The historic opportunity for a revolution has passed. It will not come back anymore. However hard I try, whatever I do. What has he done? Perhaps a confession will lighten the load? What have you done then? Yes, what? Fend the flame? There is no flame to fend. There is nothing left of the world of our dreams. You said you deserted your unit. I was just 16 years old, 15 when I volunteered. I had a lapse of faith and of courage too. Lapse of faith? You sh should, could say I misunderstood the historic code of the proletariat and thought Mazovian socio-economics were fallible. For a second I doubted the irre irreducible laws of historic materialism and second is all, a second is all it took. For what? A re reaction to take hold. It wasn't reaction, you were just afraid. It's not the same thing, you haven't seen it, not really, not naked, it's impossible not to be afraid. And this was when? May the 13th or 844 years ago, that the horizon was black with coalition airships, their petroleum rose to the sky and it looked like it formed the clouds, storm clouds, when they started shelling. It was dark magic. Dark magic? <coughs> the combined might of the international capital, all at once, all the greed and terror in the world tore into Ravishal. It lifted streets from the ground and turned houses into ghosts. We were in the flag tower. Huddled in the floor, the artillery was 80 kilometers away in Ozone, but I knew I'm getting coarse. I knew the commune would fall, we would all be turned into ash, so I said I was going to the map room. A terrible shame still within him, the lobes of his ears are red with it, the shame and smallness of what he became. You didn't go to the room. No, I climbed the, climbed the chain link across the water and hid and land in the bunkers there like the weakest of the weak, a mouse, frightened of the co ordinance all my, night and the th sound of the rotors in the morning, whirring. Th -th -th -th. He looks at the sky. What's what, what was that? Airships. I climbed out. Into hell. The landing was complete. The chain was submerged. I had to swim back. The fortress was half, half submerged too. Shattered. They had all drowned in the lower levels or got thorn, torn to shreds above. The anti-aircraft gun had malfunction. So had I. I left them without ide ideological direction. It was real. I'd seen it. I'd seen it in reality. Seen what? The mask of humanity fall from capital. It has to take it off to kill everyone, everything you love, all the hopes and tenderness in the world. It has to take it off just for one second to do the deed. And then you see it as it strangles and beats your friend to death. The sweetest, most courageous people in the world. You see the fear and power in its eyes. Then you know. What? That the bourgeois are not human. Let him finish. I had to, I had to fight it, I had ne to never stop. The old man fell for silence. He's shaking his head slowly, retreating from it. What is this place, this island? It's not an island, Ruart. It's a defensive fortification of the commune of Revachol and I'm its last surviving defender. The congenit congenit congenitally of deformed King Philip II built it to restrict access to the Bay of Revachol. We captured it in order to retrofit the fort with an AA gun to defense against an airborne landing against the whole world. 
remain the landing, retaking of Ravishore. Coalition military called it Operation Death Blow. I later found out on the radio they called it Death Blow. You're one of them. Tell me who speaks like that. We had 50 million people on Caillou alone. Coalition military. Iblis. Iblis? The black eyed angel. Angel. Shaitan. Ahura. The dark one. How have you survived all this time? How does anyone survive? I steer. Now hold on there. That's a choice. You could have become self employed. Create the system. You're insane and grotesque. Everyone steers. It's the life of a dog. How's your health, Mr. Dross? I've been throwing up blood since winter. Red like beetroot. I've been passing it in Stuart too. He does seem frail. Gone for his age. More like 75 than 65. Trouble putting on weight could mean cancer. The RCM can provide medical services. You need to be looked over. I need to die. You don't have medical facilities. You have guns. That's all they give you. Toy guns. This is a serious situation. You need to be looked over and we can do it. There's nothing to look over. The triage is in and it's black. Administer morphine. Moribund. We have druamine and other opioid-based painkillers. You must be in pain. A light goes on in his eyes. He smacks his dry lips. I have been running out of this stuff. There's no way he could manage the pain without them. It's safe to say he's addicted to painkillers by now. You like that druamine, don't you? It's the little joys. A dark joke. A sunshiny day. Morphine. So you have, have you coped mentally? I haven't. I have holes in my brain, years missing, others filled with pain only a decade of... I don't even know what. Inferno? I noticed Lieutenant is about to say something. I would imagine it gets tremendously difficult mentally to live in isolation. Traitors, it's better alone. I watch the people of the city turn the lights back on more and more each year, ruins glimmering in the dark like a fucking merry-go-round. It's disgusting. Are they not heartbroken? How could they have moved on? How have you concealed yourself all these years? It was hard in the in the tents. I didn't have partisan training. They were searching for stragglers, those bloodhounds, floodlights on the waters on that. There were posters, campaigns. We communists still hoped and they needed to snuff that hope out. The East capitulated, Martinez and Coal City were torn to dust, but Jamrock for both, even Koran and Boogie Street, of course. Those fucking kips had Mazov cursing, causing through their veins, and others too. Some cordons of Ravishore were still fighting. There were cells. I tried to contact them. Soon they all went silent. The frequencies, dead. How did you get between here and the mainland? At night, I used a dinghy. I only went off the dark then. When I got to the city, I stayed underground. Petrus, you lot, the commons do. They started snitching. In the city, you move underground? From bunker to bunker, not anymore. No one cares now. I don't ha even have to hide. They think I'm another antisocial vagrant. I could, could walk straight into the town if I wanted. I just... The weapons cache under the saint gilles 22B in the basement. Have you been there? So you finally found it. There must have been a small squadron's worth of arms in there. Belmograph's right. They were damaged beyond use. I know. Uh, so you've been there? Sleeping. Some nights. Ammo scrounging on others. Those Maygraves are shit even before they corroded. Some had bullets in the chamber, however. You fear the dots connecting. Little dots on the map she's walked across. Why don't you just walk there? I don't want to. They're all traitors. Men without ideas are only animals. He does not want to see life moving on. People forgetting, drinking, laughing. There's a small bunker under the fat building. Have you stayed there? The propaganda bunker? I used to, but not anymore. Propaganda bunker? They stored leaflets there. Broadcasting equipment too. Ma made broadcast, I think. Propaganda officers. I buried them with their leaflets. They killed themselves. Two young boys. They killed themselves? A lot of our boys did. I spent some winters there. Never liked it. Kept thinking of them. No need to go on the ground anymore. It's better in the ruins on the ground. One more question. Do you smoke Tiamotiri cigarettes? I do. Ever smoke them on the mainland? They're good. Plenty of tar. I like that boy on the pack too. Reminds me of the last century. Tell me another thing. The old man looks inland. At the city, the ruins, the motorway rising above it. The new battlements twinkling in the evening sky. 
You said this is your terminus. Surrender. You're with the RCM, the coalition-appointed mob that enforces bourgeois mores in Maravachol, a so-called Lieutenant Double Gifreteur. We are not coalition-appointed. We just try to help people. You're the RCM. You represent the moralist international, the enemies of humanity who took this city. I represent the adversary, the Parti Communiste d'Insulint. Take me to them as a prisoner of war. I have relinquished my weapon. I can no longer see. No superiors can relieve me of my duty. You pull those them all to a mass grave for trying to free humanity. A spray of blood from his mouth on the black charcoal in the fire pit. René, the royalist on the coast, said, You never signed the Revolconian instrument of surrender. Liberal reactionaries signed that dock instrument. Traitors who should have been burnt alive. Our answer to the Communist Party. Is that part of why you've been here all the time? Because the party didn't surrender? He wipes the blood from his chin. Honorable. Honor is my feudal atavism. My motive is class. So you're a communist soldier from the Communist Army? No, I'm not a soldier. I'm an ideological officer. I belong to the party, not the army. But you said you were trained and assigned to the Defense Corps trained in historical materialism, then assigned as a political commissar by the party. These, these things used to mean something. Wait, what does a political commissar do? The old man does not answer. He tilts his silver head and looks at the reeds. He's, you see a small tremor pass through his legs. Lieutenant speaks slow, softly. His job was to assure the army answers to civilian control and follows the ideology of the commune. Scientific communism. A commissaire politique is a night philosopher of the revolution, a future human, awakened from shutdown by the promise of ideology. He was like a scaric, a shepherd. So uh, you were like a priest. No, the opposite of that, a future human, not a human of the past. That means you are a trained communist, right? He nods slowly, then another tremor. I'm also a communist. No, you're a lot not. You're a liberist. A liberist? A liberal and a pederist. It's what most liberals are. I'm not a liberal. I told you I'm a communist. Detective, we have not come here to discuss ideology. We have come to ask questions regarding a murder investigation. The old man spits again. What have you been using this gun for? I've used it for killing people. Killing people? It's a gun, that's what they're for. You want a moralist euphemism defending your family and your property? I haven't done that. I've used it to kill people. Interesting. During or after the war? There is no after the war. Class war is never over. So he's continued killing after hostilities ended. Okay, okay. This is it. You can feel it. Like battery acid on the tip of your tongue. Something you haven't felt in a while, but... But what? This is what you live for. This is the shit. The great serotonin jackpot. The solution. Go in straight. No euphemisms. He doesn't like those. No, no. Be careful now. Slow and steady does it. Make him repeat it first. Don't mess it up. Remember, he wants to tell you. Get personal. So which one do I say then? <laughs> yeah. So, wait, so which one do I say then? Nothing comes to you. Silence. His black eyes look at you. So, you're saying you killed people after active fighting stopped? What did I just say? What did I just tell you? Don't drop the ball now. I know you want to tell me. Have you killed anyone with that gun in the last week or two? I don't want to tell you anything, you grotesque murderer. And why do you, do you think that was a good idea? Don't listen to me. I'm wrong all the time. Did you use that gun to shoot and kill a colonel of the security contractor Krenner? The Hühner? He hurt you. He just wants to hear you say it again. This is dramatic flair on his, on his part. Right choice. We didn't do it. The fascist death squad who took a bullet in the mouth on the night of March 4th? 
Oh yes, that one. Ugly piece of work, that boy. Did you kill him? I'm a son of a welder and an officer of the Commune of Ravishol. I do not collaborate with murderers and pederasts of the liberal regime. A drop of blood in the saliva. Exhaust him with proof. Pile it all on him. Get a confession. The gun. The murder weapons. Perfect opener. The scent of blood in the air. But what else? There was something you can't remember. Something about the tracks. Suddenly all those tracks are so confusing. Go with something else first. I don't need your cooperation. I've got this. The gun. Heh. No lot of guns around that use military grade ammunition are there. It's a real gun, not like your little musketeer pistol. I've seen you prance around with that, jumping hoops for the liberals. You look like imbeciles. Why don't you ask them to give you real weapons? Going against automatic rifles with a flame bomb. Of course you get all those boys kills. Damn, he saw you. He's watched it happen. He would have a good view from the, of the tribunal from here. It, it's not just empty bursting. So he saw you. Okay, so what? Don't let it divert you. Stop changing the subject. We have the murder weapon. You know what? You're right. I'm convinced this made the shot. Should we call it? You think we have the murder weapon? We have it. This is it. I'm calling it. We have it. Good. Takes out, he draws a single line in his notebook. This feels good, doesn't it? Try, trying things up like this when you have the murder weapon, you have the killer. Murder. The old man does not say more, he just glances in the reed, like a marionette on some invisible string. We've done the ballistics, the shot came from this island. I saw you poking around there looking for evidence, you're damn diligent when it comes to dead fa faces. A jitter passes him, did you like the view? You had a direct visi invisibility. There are embrasures in the concrete specifically made, meant for a top faller to use, and you had a long-range rifle in your procession. You've been here a long time, Mr. Drust. Too long, you clearly need medical aid, and... I'm ready to die. I've done my part. He's practically admitting to it. Dead faces, not fascists. Done his part. You said fascists. You're admitting you killed him? You sad for your Fasca brother, aren't you? One twig got broken, now the others are sad. He waves his hand, there's a twitch, then one more thing in his right eye. Almost, he's almost burst out there, burst out there. keep piling arguments. Come on, what am I forgetting? Hit myself on the side of your head. Wait, here it comes, the goddamn Mabels. Oh yes, there were Mabels in the grass when you got here. They are revolutionary samples from the war. Nowhere else, nowhere in all of Martinez have you seen them this spring. Wait, don't forget the footprints, the diagonal footprints in the dust in the secret space behind Classy's bedroom. Now they're gonna come up. Of course, thank you, Ed, thank you. You've got it, remember, the boot prints were all like no modern soul. There were Mabels behind the victim's window. Damn Mabels, the whole island is turning white with them. He seems tender suddenly, nostalgic even, a strange mood swing. So many this year too, the spring is coming. No, it's already there, wash the filth away. I haven't seen these flowers anywhere else in Martinez, only here. They blossomed on the islets before. We fertilized them with our blood. Resurrection was snow white in May before they ruined it. The east coast too, before they had their containers on top of it, filled with broken useless trash for fat-fingered bourgeois children to play with. You must get around a lot to stay undetected all those years. Do you know any secret path? Pinwell workshops. I may. A young woman called Class, you ring any bells? These dried flowers were behind her window. Class, yeah. You know her, right? She had intimate relations with the victim, the mercenary. With the victim. He turns aside from the widening field of flowers and falls lying, and then his muzzles and his short twitch, a spasm. Don't leave any loose ends, get him on everything. I wonder what brand of boots you're wearing. Everything is brands with you, individualist. Who cares what brand my shoes are? Sands are. some shit. Show me the sauce, please, Mr. Droz. Fucking imbecile. The old man stretches out his leg, a black and white spiral pattern covers the sole of the worn out shoes running. Running shoes off his left, the maker, maker is Sensorous, the model is Corbeil, and the size, size is 43. These are not the usual horizontal patterns, 
so as you saw in the dust on the floor of the hidden room. They do, however, seem to be about the same size. The size fits, but not the soul. Wait, maybe it's simpler than that. Drama, come on. Sire, he doesn't have to be wearing them right now. People change shoes. It doesn't mean you weren't there. Near the room, the victim died and sneaking around. Wrecking those brains, are you? Desperate to report something back to your masters. They must have really loved that dead fuck. The lieutenant gives you a quick sideway glance and nods to acknowledge. The prince wear his. You can see it in those eyes. He can't keep them from flickering. Looking for something, the old man stares at his own prince in the ash around the fire. Silence suddenly, some strange process within him. A gush of wind. Seagulls in silence. You know who he was. A collision-trained murderer, armored and arm armed. He wasn't human. The blunt end of a hammer. Dripping with blood. He was a soldier too, he was a man, beating us into the ground, moaning with joy. You hounds get so thorough when a company trained killer dies, I haven't seen you in this coast for 40 years, you know, maybe I should have killed one sooner. Got your attention, he, now. Now you stop beaking druggies and prostitutes in your basement, now you come to investigate, now they die by the hundreds. This is it. Shot him. Shot him. Say shot him, not kill him. So you shot him. Oh, the inhumanity. One paramilitary less in Ravishal. Lieutenant raises his right arm to hush you. Hush. He does not need to be pushed anymore. The ball is rolling. Hold your breath. I had them in my sights, both of them, him and the whore. I was bre breathing with him with them and face and I pulled the trigger and flew on the air until I landed in his mouth. I didn't think I had a shot like that in me anymore. I did. I saw him kneel there with his mouth full of death and that stupid look on his face and his dick still in her. Then what? Nothing. I went to sleep. Next morning there were Mabels everywhere. The world was white, or what's left of it anyway. My last spring here, I knew the fascists would come to avenge their own, and so they did. The lieutenant looks at him for once, maybe two seconds, then breaks the silence. Mr. Dross, are you aware you're confessing to murder? Yes. A single word is all he gives. The lieutenant takes you out his notebook slowly, very slowly, and you were looking at them. The victim and a young woman having sex through the scope of your rifle that night before you shot him? He nods. Why? Because that's why, uh, what they were doing. The motive. This is where the motive is going to come from. You can coax it out of him. The lieutenant's preparing the ground. I don't understand. Do you, detective? I don't understand this part. Why were you looking at them that night? I'm always looking. He cocks his head to the side, then turns his eyes to the city. Another tremor passes left side lower in intensity. Are you always looking through the scope of a rifle? I'm just trying to understand. A rifle scope has the best magnif magnification. And if you don't like it, click, you pull the trigger. Yes. Think of it as a form of critique. He will not stop nose, though these, these dialectical materials types never do. Exploit it. You get him going. Connect every little piece now. Wrap this up like a gift. Start with when you first saw her. It will give him a chance to ramble. <clears throat> When did you first see the deceased? Three weeks ago when the rich hag came, came in on her galley. Her honor guard came in town. Joyce, he means Ro Joyce. By that you mean Joyce Messier, the Wild Pines rep? Wrinkled up whore. What is it with these whores and pedras? Aren't you a communist? Lex sexual morals are bourgeois ploy. As to pederasty, the party legalized it in of for my party, not your liberal masters. He spits it out on the dying coals. So don't you sermonize me, you racist shit or it's still bourgeois when the bourgeois does it, fiddling with her sexual organs. Moving on, the victim arrived sometimes after her. They moved into a deserted apartment above the roundabout. Radio equipment out of outfall to see a reactionary radio playing sloppy and drunk. I've seen their kind during the landing. Those occidental mask phalanx weren't conscripts, boys like us. They were whites. All they know is to destroy and hurt. Whites. 
barely alive. They like to kill while they are on their drugs. After the landing in the burning years, I would take shots at them and them, the worst ones, if I had a bullet to spare. I could see they have returned now to show their real face to face. They don't dare to show their bourgeois voters back in Mundi with their family and polyester clothes. What specific specifically did you not like about what you saw the night of the murder? Them fucking, I didn't like that. So you were jealous? Jealousy is a reactionary concept. I didn't like the reaver enjoying himself, drugged out, soothed in the arms of young women. I wanted him to die so he could not enjoy life anymore. And I wanted her to see his dead head explode. That too, she should know better than to hold a shy murderer between her th thighs. I knew he had been there for one more second, writhing. That's all it takes for the bullet to reach his head. Now that I think of it, I wasn't aiming for his mouth. I wanted his brains to spill out on her, but you can ha can't have everything. This man has seen past her like you did, and now he longs to see her covered in blood to punish her. How long had you been watching her? Since she came to Martinez, I saw her sneaking in the reeds early in the morning behind the felt bidding. It was dark, still winter. She didn't have her skimpy outfit on then, just a spot in the night moving. Past the felt building on the coast, what was she doing there? Hiding something in the water. She had a fag. After she'd done it, I was up in the ruins there. She couldn't see me, but I could see her smoking. She was nervous, but not scared. What do you think she had there? Her passport and tickets to Villier, and from there to Casa Brum. So this hidden boy she taught us about, you looked into it after she was gone. Did you keep what was in it? No, why would I do that? I didn't need tickets to Villiers. I put them back. If I wanted to extort someone, I'd do it better. This implies that he has thought about extorting her. Also a little inconsistency here. He was surprised to hear her name is classy before. Would he not have seen it in the documents? Are you sure we checked the submersible? There was nothing there. Why would I need that trash? I'm not going to Villiers. You saw her name on the passport, but before when I said her name is Classy, you didn't seem to recognize it. It didn't say Classy in there. What did it say her name was? It was something... I don't remember. It was dark that morning. I can only remember the face of her photo. Moving on, did you continue watching her after this? I did. She had a face like an, arch an archipelago with those birch birthmarks and a body hard and lean and bruised all over, black and yellow. I could see she's taking a beating. I could see who she was too, a spook on the run, Rever shows the cloaca of Capitol now, all the backmen at arms dealers ended up there, to the, do drugs and have sex like animals. You could tell she was a spook from the documents? She has different color hair on the folklore glasses, forged, some sort of bourgeois affair I've heard about this kind of thing on the radio. He's setting it up for you. The bruises, you can make that out in a scope. And you could see her bruises through the scope of a rifle. You can't see bruises in a scope, it's just a blur. I found the people, so... Yeah. It's quickly comes to you. The bruises on her body, any chance you have seen them through a hole in the wall? Oh yes, cutting those drugs out of hers into little lines with a knife, masturbating. Did you make that hole? with a clip her point knife. Good for listening in too, for hearing the moaning and the snorts. Ever seen her through a window on the roof? Like that too, yes, bending like a bow against the glass. You've been through the secret route behind the Welling and Rex, those were your footprints there, you've just changed your shoes. I've been through all of Martinus, every nook and cranny. And that too. Yes, that too. The things they did in that little room, what she'd do to feel good, Funny the way light, light works. You turn it on inside and it gets so dark out you can't see a man looking in. I learned that in the 20s when they were still hunting me. I've seen people do some shit, but those two took the care. You hear the familiar scribble of the lieutenant's pen, a quick glance at you. One more loose end down. We're doing this, detective. How did you get in there? The hidden pinball workshop. I can just walk in the air now, after a good wash. I told you they think I'm an antisocial, closing hours a good time, the kitchen's empty. You had to open the steel door in the kitchen, how? I got that open a long time ago, some bourgeois game merchant lived there, I don't know, 15 years ago he left spare keys all over and I took one. Then I saw her turn the light on one night in my scope. 
and he found use for it, a spare key like the one hanging me at the union box window. You wanted to punish her, so you killed him. She basically best fasted that man, you wouldn't believe the things she let him do to her. You stare at them too, in your mind heard her innocence Doros day, a stay turns to leave, airport back in hand, six filling in her wake. The dream. So you see her tomorrow, Harry, her voice rings in her evening air burning. You s men are insane. The world is insane. You had feelings for that woman. There's nothing to hold on to. Only this. It's not enough. The coals of his eyes glisten carefully like stones dripping with water. Is he crying? Man needs to feel something else. It helps if you have your eye on something. There. Something pretty. It's weakness. I know. Was that why you left the uh, dry flo dark, dried flowers behind her window? No. Why then? I don't really know. I was there one night and she was crying like a child in the corner of her room on the floor like she does sometimes. When was this? The day after I killed him. And you brought her Mabel's? Yes, I don't know why I do the things I do anymore. It's as if to, as if something put the thought, uh, thought, thought there to leave the flowers. Something put the thought in you, a compulsion. What you mean, put? A brief flash of terror. You ju I just got this feeling from what you said. Do you agree? Maybe. I told you I have holes in my brain now. I wouldn't just sit here waiting for you. If you came ten years ago, I would have killed you. In the silence, the lieutenant draws a line in his notes. Then nods at you once more. One more down. So in conclusion, it wasn't about him. It was about her. Her. He repeats. Staring at the ashes. Then the reeds. There's a twitch in the corner of his eye. You hear low frequency hiss barely beneath the audible spectrum, then it's gone. Lieutenant nods at you in acknowledgement. That's it, motive. We have it. The old man looks at you. Where is that? Where is she, that class? I haven't seen her for days. She got away, but she let us here first. She figured out someone was watching her from the sea fort. Gun. I knew it. She kept staring into the scope this last week at the island like she knew. She'd look at night, crying or smoking on the roof, staring right in me. It doesn't matter. Across the water on a dilapidated jacket in the nameless village made of grey cinder blocks, blockhouses with an Ethernet roof, two police officers in one special consultant look across the narrow strip of sea. He's there doing what exactly? I don't know. Right? Uh, I don't know. The satellite officer Vickermeyer points at the ruins. Be behind that antique aircraft something, that's why I can't see him. We can't see him. Special concern and Tidal Stem is optimistic. We see the boat when he comes. Let's go get a coffee until then. I know his, th this interesting little place where... He, his voice trails off as this three walk down the jetty. As the mango patrol officer Mino looks back over the shoulder at the crumbling fortification in the rain like a rotten tooth rising out on the water. Good luck, Harry, she thinks. You need something good for this. We could get more if we're, uh, we've got him talking. Who knows what he's seen and done over the years. Been looking at anything else you haven't liked? A tragic comedy. Druggies, prostitutes and rentiers. More specifically. Specifically, the old city is a charnel house stripped clean and draped in air, but Martinez is the worst. How come? Because of the racist, everyone is a racist in Martinez. It's their favorite thing to do in the whole world, listening to race-themed radio shows in the ruins in their lorries. Pumped full of steroids and Radio Revacol 92, race this, race, race that. It's all sanctioned by that social democratic union and the farce of a social democrat who runs it. Mr. Clare. Yes, the fly lava and his container. He's, he lets some nihilistic advertising puppies, yuppies, yuppies wreck the statue of Philip III, a syphilitic murder on the town square to spit on the working class. Anything more? Not since the scurfs of ancient Pernacanasset has history produced a more inert social class than the Martinez proletariat. The rest of Overavishol at least pretends to rebuild. These people still live in ruins. Intense, like animals. Like these boom boom morons on the eyes. A pity they didn't drown in that chant of theirs. That's all? The worst of them is the blood-drenched sucreant on your yacht. 
uh, yeah, I have no idea how to pronounce that in English. Licking her lips, the old horse gun now, her gun-toting porcelain men are dead. So actually, no. The worst is that old cock parading around in his uniform, throwing balls all day. It's not enough that the racists and liberals are dancing our graves. The old loyalist goose still parade the ruins too. Every morning he's there, while the parasites fought to protect are off in Ozone or Croyant Moran, some other island they have built their pal palaces to, feeding on drugs and having sex with their own children. Say nothing. That's all the rich really want, sex with their own children throughout history, even the royal bloodline of the suzerain. It's all just an excuse for them to have sordid sex. At least that old cunt Frizzle is now dead. I have some questions about this. We did good when we pushed him under the horse car, until in the 30s those disco horse he breathes in, his breath heavy with hatred, you cannot make out a single word. The disco horse are too much, hatred shuts down his brain's language center, leaving only nonsensical sputter. There was something about the statue and nihilistic advertising agency people, might be worth investigating. Ask about the cock on parade too, make sure you get everything here. This will be an extra long episode. Disco horse? Horse is all he says. Even that word has to be pushed through his teeth from gate forth, the rage ceases to half. There was something about the statue and the roundabout and syphilis. Syphilis is a disease Philip the two contracted in a whorehouse. The statue is an abomination. Abomination? The bacteria entered his brain and made him squander trillions on sparkling wine, cocaine, and moment, moment, monuments of himself. His son Philip the third, insane, contracted syphilis in the womb. In the womb, and he still went on to govern Ravishol for 25 years. We lost two million lives toppling that mode of government, and old those grotesque statues too, hundreds of them. But it's still there. What's what a keen remark! Yes, it is, isn't it? It's still there. Do you know why? Because cynical advertising yuppies erected a deconstructed version of it. That's right, some advertising cockroaches erect a cynical deconstruction of it. We tore it down with honest working class plastic explosive and there it is again. Art is a bourgeois establishment, it's an affront to humanity. Every gallery should be bulldozed and the artists should all be given 30 years of hard labor in Yekokata. You mentioned the union as social democratic and Mr. Claire a farce of a social democrat? Another hideous disappointment. Unions are the real enemy, the true enemy of the proletariat, predicating the masses. Disappointment, so personal, he displays a familiarity with the union's top brass. Who is the disappointment? Everard Clare? That deformed toad, I wouldn't expect him to wipe his own ass. I mean the brains of the, of the operation, the smart one. You mean Edgar? The old man short is with a nod. He talks a bit ga big game about uprising and social base. They must have sent the smart one to the university in Le Jardin where he, it's, it's alter alienation this and hegemony that. He's been sweet talked by this Edgar. They must have met in person for such animosity to have developed. We are not the first people you've met from the city, are we? You can't live alone. The class wouldn't miss a man hidden in their own backyard, not all this time. Nothing happens in Martinez without them knowing. Of course, maybe the class asked him to. Don't go straight for the kill, exhaust everything else first. Have you approached them? I haven't approached everyone. I've heard it was Edgar who came to me. How, how did you know you were here? Did he know? He didn't just stumble in like an oaf. He figured it out. Some kids told him about a monster on the island. I told you he is brains. Steep, stepped right off the boat and walked down where you came. I even kept the door open for him. Thought he was a man of the left, wouldn't rat me out. I was right about one of those two things. When was that? Twenty years ago, and neither of them could walk now, could they? They were less fat then. That's around the time that Claire's came to power. What did you talk about? Edgar did the talking, paid his respects like we were... I wear a fossil in uniform, offered platitudes about the struggle, flaunted his pink degree, even quoted Mazov. Never trusted the social democrat who quotes. Never trust the social democrat who quotes Mazov. Oh, and charity too, they love their charity, offered me blankets and social housing. I still have the gas cooker he brought. And he let you be here. Let me be here? The Tsar is an unlawful successor of the commune of Revacol. 
Ravishal, we took his this fortification from the loyalist. Even the Clares understand this. They let him be here, understanding he was a courtesy. But why such a courtesy? Mr. Jaws, did you kill the Crenel mercenary for the Clares to incite a riot? You know why I killed that fucker droid. As to Edgar, I'm not doing anything for that swine again. Again? What have you done for Edgar before? Try teaching him some Mazovian socioeconomics. They didn't stick. We parted ways. Okay, he didn't do the hangman for them, but he's insinuating something. By the clock par cock parading in his colorful uniform, you mean René? Every fucking morning for 34 years, throwing that ball, one ball against the other, I've always loathed that game. That's not a working class game, I don't care what they say on Radio June. Royalist goose play it like it was life itself, click clack across the water each day and that uniform like a parrot's plumage. I won't even mention that he's traitor to his race, a petank maniac race traitor. You are a fascist communist. Oh, oh God. I'm just nodding. I remember him from the nurse. Not him personally, his make and model. There were tons of thousands of them. I thought we took them all out before the liberals came to their rescue. We missed one. That one. There doesn't seem to be a single person under the pine today. Not even Gaston alone. There's no one there. Fat and plump like a pe pheasant, just begging to be popped off. Please, Mr. Joss, shoot me. You'd, you'd like to kill him? Not yet. I like to look at him, start around, place the crosshair on his medals, rise on his face and just fiddle the trigger. Think about it. Let the bombo melt in my mouth. mouth. Save the treat for later. He is a juicy bonbon, that one, a real treat for my black day, the blackest. When I put that gun in my mouth, I think, no, don't waste it. Put this lead that in the cock rene for the boys he killed. And then I look at him, throw those balls and suddenly feel, huh. Better, I even hit one bullet so I'd always have one for him. Haven't seen him around lately. Strutting around, must be down with arthritis. I hope it just, uh, it hurts like hell. I hope he sweats blood. Here in Matt Maim, destabilize him, but you, sh you sure you've gotten everything from him? Rene is dead. He died of old age a couple of days ago. No. Yes. The old communist looks at you, his blackberry eyes shaking in disbelief. I waited too long. I waited too long and now he's dead. I'm sorry, Mr. Dross. I understand you knew him for a long time. They're all dead now. Fuck it. If he really wanted to kill him so bad, he, could, he would have done. There must have been a thousand black days on these islands. His health ailing. You cared about him? All humans being care, uh, beings care about each other. I cared for seeing head explode and now goddamn this world. He reminded him of himself. The same hatred, the same. You th try to think of something else, but no, it's just hatred. You had a thousand chances to kill him. And I blew them all. What does it matter now? He's gone. Ancient dusk. I'm sorry. Fuck you. Are you okay, Mr. Dross, to go on? You think I haven't seen people die? It's all I've seen them do. Fucking die. All the others' plans we had to love to colonize the pale. It's all fucked. He's not okay. This is just another black day and a row of black days. Something strange is keeping him together. Making him endure. Logic. Okay. How many points do I need for that? Uh... 14. I have 7. Uh, so I need 4 points for maximum. I take 3 points. Okay, let's roll the logic. 20 years ago, when you... The connection comes to you like a plash of cold water, dark cold water. 20 years ago, when you met Edgar, the Clares didn't run the Union yet, did they? Huh. He knowledge assist. Here we go. A twist behind the dark band. Who did? That bourgeois cow. Holly was her name. Licked the rich man's hand every time he came to town. Never seen a labor leader so hot a mutual cooperation. And money. She liked that too. That Holly was a real bridge builder and a deal maker. 
she was also a woman, wasn't she? Like that class here. She was, and they, she was real soft on those money men. Had Barbara Muscova back over her shoulder that she liked to bring to work. And then she just disappeared. Caught in, they say, on the eve of battle, ran away, vanished like a piss stain. No, that's not quite it, is it? Did she? They say her daughter called in, not her personally, but that wasn't really her daughter, was it? No, I guess it was not. Edgar, someone make the call. Why is that, Mr. Draw? She couldn't make the call herself. Here it is, the band in the rear. Why? Because she was dead. How come? Because the cow caught a bullet in her right lung, fell into the kennel, grasping her tit and drowned. Or bled, hard to say, it was a sloppy job on a moving target. She was going home, waddling, dressed in yellow, drunk like she often was. The ruins were black around her and she had a yellow leather bag on her arm. She tried to cross the canal. Heading home to Grand Courant or Betancourt, some place like that where they did build where they built those new battlements for the new pe for the people who flourish in the hell around her and the ruins. You shot her. Someone shot her. Or maybe the co just fell. My memory is full of holes. All I know is nothing changed. Not in the material base, not in the hegemony. There was no uprising, just words. The union fizzed, sucked. Nothing came of it, nothing. Edgar didn't keep his part of the deal. Huh. <laughs> If you were to testify on this, give the RCM something on Edgar, you could walk. We would strike everything you've done and process you as a POW. You were in a war. You were on assignment. You could even extradite you to the Samaritan's People Republic. A degenerate worker state? Go shit, no thank you, I'm rather show you my days are short, I would... I will to rot away here in a moral intent cell. I will not testify to anything. But you did do it. I saw it happen and I liked it. That's all I have to say. I didn't live and fought for 40 years to end up as a collaborationist. We heard it on Channel 8, 40 a.m. 40 a.m.? 40 a. Ra radio Rever call late night. What happened to the previous foreman? Everyone's a blobber in this world. Everyone betrays someone. They're all already locked up for betrayal. The best ones, the ones with heart, were slaughtered, trampled. The same old freezing hatred. There's plenty here to work with once he is in custody and the lieutenant knows it. He gives you a little note to proceed. I'm glad we talked about this now. Okay. Composure. I can only get one point. That's it for now, old man. Stay put. Hope I'm not going anywhere. See you tomorrow in the next episode. Have a nice day.